After countless decades, we pretty much know what to expect from luxury car manufacturers. Mercedes-Benz, for example. Their cars are posh and luxurious, but not intensely emotional. Isn't it refreshing when car makers surprise you? This sexy beast is the Mercedes-Benz C-Class. For years it occupied the entry-level spot in the Mercedes lineup, but that honor now falls to the CLA, thus freeing the C-Class to move slightly up market, a move that bolsters its position against compact luxury rivals like the BMW 3 Series, Audi A4, and Lexus IS. In latest form, the C-Class has grown by 3.7 inches in length and 1.6 inches in width. At the same time, it's about 200 pounds lighter than the previous version. To all the aluminum producers watching, thanks. Less weight means better performance and a notable improvement in fuel economy, and it'd be natural to focus on that stuff, but instead, let's just stare at the exterior. Where Mercedes has typically skewed upscale but reserved, the newest C-Class retains a luxurious persona but marries it with athleticism and artful design. Its long nose, short rear, and taut body lines combine in a harmonious whole that looks elegant yet strong. In simplest terms, the C-Class has presence. It's a Mercedes that's emotive, not uptight. If the exterior is the bait, the interior is the hook. It's absolutely gorgeous in here. If you were to take all of this and transplant it to a more expensive luxury car, nobody would cry foul. In many ways, it's the tactile details that set the C-Class apart. The materials and buttons feel expensive. The window switches move with a light but precise action. The vents make a subtle, satisfying click when centered. Encasing this touch-worthy goodness in such an attractive design unsurprisingly results in a stunning interior. Before we get too breathless with our praise, there is an issue of usability. While beautifully arranged, actually using these controls can be a little bit tricky. For example, there's no dedicated button for skipping to the next track. If you want to do that, you have to use either this rotary knob or this touchpad. But you can't do that right now. First, you have to go put the button, rotate over to media, select that. And now you can either slide or rotate. Also, figuring out whether or not you have to use the touchpad or the rotary knob for a variety of functions, not obvious. Before you say, well, just use the buttons on the steering wheel. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh. same deal. If you want to go forward on the track, you have to, what do you have to do? Down to media? Hey, now we're on the trolley. In an era of increasingly intuitive technology, the C-Class has a learning curve. Okay, I did discover that if you push this button right here on the back side of the track pad, it pops this up right here, allowing you to swipe forward or back on the tracks. It's not perfect, but it is something. Despite the C-Class's generational size increase, rear seat headroom is tight for taller passengers, while a pronounced center tunnel makes three-wide seating a questionable proposition. As for trunk space, there's a reasonable 12.8 cubic feet to play with. Oh, and an amazing optional expanding box for, I'm assuming, loose tangerines and stuffed animals. All that said, if you're sitting up front, more than generous dimensions and a satisfying drive should help you forget your less than blissful rear passengers. The Mercedes-Benz C-Class has never been a prime choice for crisp driving dynamics, but in its latest iteration, it is kind of inching in that direction. It's nimble, sure-footed, and you can fling it into corners and it's a lot of fun. That said, you do get the sense that the steering wheel isn't giving you all the information about what the front tires are up to. Keep in mind that that's not necessarily a complaint. Just like industrial chicken farming and politics, some people don't want to know the gritty details of the road they're driving over. Building on the idea of strategically withholding information, the Mercedes-Benz C-Class isolates its occupants from tedious wind and road noise. Even at freeway speeds, the cabin remains wonderfully serene. Toss in strong acceleration and a chassis that absorbs road imperfections with relative ease, and you have a luxury car that's an absolute pleasure to drive. In either rear or $2,000 pricier all-wheel drive form, the C300 features an eager turbocharged four-cylinder engine that tops 30 miles per gallon on the freeway, making the equivalent BMW 3 Series a more efficient choice. 
propulsion in the C400 comes courtesy of a naturally aspirated V6 paired with all-wheel drive, while gear changes in either trim are handled by a 7-speed automatic transmission. A basic rear-drive Mercedes-Benz C300 starts under $40,000 and includes dual-zone climate control, keyless engine start, MB Tex faux leather upholstery, a power memory driver's seat, seven airbags, and Collision Prevention Assist Plus, a radar-based system that can automatically apply the brakes to reduce the severity of a collision. Fancier tastes can be appeased by way of the option sheet. The $650 luxury package adds a comfort-tuned suspension along with classy aesthetic touches, including a classic raised star logo on the hood. On the opposite end of the spectrum, a $2,200 sport package adds sporty details throughout while dropping the car 0.6 inches on a performance-tuned suspension. Other standout add-ons include a multimedia package with backup camera, navigation and 8.4-inch infotainment screen that replaces the standard 7-inch unit, an air suspension with comfort and sport modes, a premium package with Burmester audio, and various electronic assists for inattentive drivers, like Traffic Jam Assistant, which automatically follows the car ahead in stop-and-go traffic. The more powerful C400 checks in at a little less than $50,000, though that sum does include many of the C300's optional features. Where the competition is concerned, you've got more exhilarating, more attainable, more American, and perhaps more responsible choices. But the Mercedes-Benz C-Class, though higher on the pricing spectrum, sits at an intriguing intersection between quality, comfort, and performance. Luxury buyers have strong opinions about their cars. You're a BMW person, Lexus person, whatever. It's doubtful that's going to change anytime soon. But if there were ever an argument to convince compact luxury buyers to jump ship and join Mercedes, this might be it.